live from the outer wastelands of Austin, where a man and his boy listen to Elon Musk while he brokers a peace with Greg Abbott and Beto O'Rourke. It's going to be a great night. Now, let's <laughs> wheel out Fidel and Jack for this More Bry production, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and my stepbrother, Justin Robert Young! Okay, okay. All right, okay. Look, I've tried to keep everything above board I here. Know, me too. I've got certificates for everything. Exactly. And yet here you are. Yep. Mr. Comedy Inspector. That's me. Giving me the brass sass government big ass. Well, fuck you, big gov. Uh, uh, look, look, man. I'm, I'm sorry. Cut the music. Uh, um... <laughs> I, I really, I, I... We run a clean operation. I know, I know, I know. Look, man. And I know the penalties. My, my job used to be... I a vote. A lot easier. And then, you know, around 2008, uh, I don't want to name names. Obama! <laughs> you name the name. <laughs> But he started stepping up the regulations Killed on comedy. Killed comedy. Used to be you could make fun of a president. That's right. We still do it here. Uh, I, we make George W. Bush jokes. Uh, I haven't seen this model in over 20 years. <laughs> That's right. It's a vintage. Well. It's a classic. I do have dispensation as an inspector to inspect what you have. So why don't you give me your best George W. Bush joke? Yeah, I don't know. It's not exactly above regs around here. Uh, it's fine. What How are they going to do? Know? Call the cops? Well, I, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I'm the cops. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's, uh, uh, what's the... I'm sorry. This character is taking a bit <laughs> of a swishy turn. <laughs> I mean, anyway, pal, go ahead. Uh, you and I I'm both. I'm just a swinging comedy cop <laughs> looking for some good comedy. No, oh, look, I, I I put up a brave front, but you and I both know the penalty if I actually give you my George W. Bush. Uh, don't worry. I'm the one who would penalize you. I know. That's what worries me because, of course, the penalty is you will tickle me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've steered into the skid, I see. <laughs> and uh, uh, I, for one, can't be tickled, no matter how good of a George W. Bush impression I do. Well, that puts a lot of tension on this one George W. Bush joke. <sighs> My fellow Americans, <laughs> without provocation, is the America... laughing part of it? <laughs> I just want to know because it's going to depend on whether or not you're getting tickled. I mean, maybe, like if 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 the laughing's part of it, I just need to know: is it part of it or not? Uh, 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 my fellow Americans, uh, <laughs> well, we need to invade Iraq right now. So strong, so confident. <laughs> uh, there's an axis of evil consisting of uh, 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 the Daily Show. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Coca-Cola, <laughs> so topical, <laughs> and and a uh, 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 hot topic. This is the greatest joke I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just tickle me, get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> and he wanted Congress to tickle him so he could launch the Iraq War. That's what the this point of the bit the was. It's satire. Joke of all time. <laughs> Realize that my life of penalizing people for telling jokes is worthless. I'm killing myself. <laughs> oh no! Oh my God! With a gun, you could. You should have gone home. It first. ended dark. It ended dark. <laughs> Why did it you... ended dark, Price? <laughs> It ended dark. Uh, Sometimes it ends dark. I, ca I can't tell if I'm happy or sad about that ending. <laughs> you can't? He's kind of a fan favorite. He started as the villain, <laughs> but then he eventually became kind of beloved. Yeah. But his and they realized didn't that... get renewed for season two, and so they had to write him off one way or another. So at least he did it by his own hand. Uh, hey, man, how's your week been? My week. <laughs> Sorry? My week. Yeah, why, why, why don't you ask me what my strong's no, been? No, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be some hustle and grind fucking Instagram shit. Like, stop, stop asking me about, about my weak. Yeah, ask me about my, my strong's. strong's. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, sorry, I got four strongs until Labor Day. <laughs> uh, no, man, I feel like uh, 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 Bryce. I don't know where the order is, but but mm. uh, uh, can you do yours? Yeah, can you put mine first? Yeah, if you put mine first, I'll tell you, man. I, I've got, I got the blues. Well, wanna, uh, wanna. Uh, <laughs> Bryce, next topic. <laughs> well, a lot of, a lot of rage against the birthday. Brian, I want to bring you back in time. Let me tell you about a little story about Justin Robert Young, a man who's turning 40, and we're getting this song. I'm going to take you back. Flashback. Flashing back. We're, we're out of the blue song. We'll come back to the blue song. Okay. I swear to God. Uh, uh, wicka, 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 wicka. Hey, everybody. It's a long time ago. We're happy. We're fearful. Everything goes. It's always spring break, as you can see. And yeah, rap is we're slow. the Black Eyed Peas before Fergie. <laughs> <laughs> Setting the scene in 1996 or 7. I can't remember. Using the hard R. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? Every part of the show tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I did grow up in Florida. Moving on. Uh, so I had tickets to a concert featuring a double bill of my two favorite bands at that time. Rage Against the Machine and the Beastie Boys. Wow. Uh, Rage I, Against I, the Machine I, broke up. The Beastie Boys decided they did not want to do the tour by themselves because probably the venues were, were too big than what they could fill by themselves. And so I did not get to see them. And then obviously the beastie boys, I think did one more tour uh, that I was not rich enough to go to. And that was that for them as well. Flash forward to about 2018 word starts getting around that rage against the machine is reformed. They're going to go on a massive tour, not just one of these cash grab going to all the festivals and getting the big paycheck tours no a for real for real city by city motherfucking tour can i can i explore for just one second the alternate reality because for a brief second i thought you were going to say word gets around that chester robert young's not happy yep. <laughs> and they're all like oh my god we have to reform the band we have to we have to find somebody who looks exactly like a uh, 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 adam yow uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, well now, geez, I could, I feel like, I don't know. We, we could, we could do an, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll get cancer. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> sorry. What? Uh, didn't he die of cancer? <laughs> yeah. No, but he uh, didn't choose to. Did, wow. did, um, I don't know. Maybe it's the hair and beard that made him get cancer or, or his bravery against the China Republic. That's okay. True. Ain't nobody doing a free Tibet concert now. Yeah, dude. It's like uh, uh that, that was a dude, lot that dude is now of people. Very brave. Yeah. Extraordinarily brave. Like you. <laughs> I was brave, Brian. <laughs> yes. When you were. I bought tickets to Rage Against the Machine so in Oakland yes. in 2020. All right. And one of what my happened? last nights out, one of my last nights out uh was at a karaoke bar. For which I sang exclusively Rage Against the Machine because I was so fucking excited that I was going to go see this show in two months. Did you do deep cuts? Deep cuts? Or, uh, or were they hits? Or the hits? Uh, uh, whatever they had on the karaoke oh, machine. It's a hits. It's a hits. It's hits. Uh, and then... Everything changed. Hi, I'm Dr. Fauci. You've never heard of me before, but Rage Against the Machine is canceled. Fuck you. I fucking don't. You'll never see this band as long as I'm alive, Justin Robert Young. <laughs> that was really weird. I remember. Where were you oh, when weird. you heard that? Uh, exactly. Slow fade out, like through the television screen to me sitting there with my eyes as fucking like, like spirals. So anyway, whatever. Uh, uh, pandemic happens, lockdown happens. I move here. I'm no longer even in Oakland. Rage Against the Machine reschedules their concert. And it's going to be on March 5th, 2023. My oh. 40th birthday. Go on. So I have the opportunity to plan an entire weekend going back to the Bay Area for the first time gonna have a big fun time my 40th birthday gather every friend that i possibly can 
out there. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. It's going to be fucking amazing. And everyone lived happily ever after. Yep, that's the end of the story. Great story. Great story, uh, uh, Justin. Bryce, nice topic. Next. Bryce, do you have a, 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 a headline of what was announced today? Oh, no, from I swear to God, I wanted it Machine? to be like a deep fake. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I guess saying, I'll look this up. Just you. go ahead and Google that. Google Rage Against the Machine. I'm going to Google Rage Against the Machine. Yeah. The Machine. Not the machine. machine. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, no. From SFGate.com, Rage Against the Machine cancels Bay Area reunion concerts. Uh, do they oh, specifically no. mention Justin Robert Young as the reason? <laughs> All right, can I tell you really what, why, and this actually bummed me the fuck out today. It really bummed me the fuck out. And number one, because... By the way, you, when you say you that, I suddenly go on, like, uh, 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 walking bare through, barefoot through, like, uh, prickly pears or something. Why? Well, because you seem sensitive about the subject. Because I'm a little fucking sensitive okay, about yeah, the subject. Okay, yeah, 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 no, no, no. Kind of like the way Rage right. Against the Machine is sensitive about injustice in government. More like bullshit on parade. <laughs> can I? Can he I? He tore his fucking ACL. He tore his ACL. You want to know who else fucking injured his leg? Axel Rose. You want to know what he did? Sat in a goddamn chair and finished his fucking concert. He could have sat in a chair. That's true. You could have sat in a chair, Zach Delaroca. Yeah, Zach Delaroca. I haven't fucking seen the goddamn show. And here's the other bullshit about it. So randomly. Not randomly. It was because of a Steelers thing. I called my brother and my stepfather. My stepfather decides randomly to light into me about the fact that I'm not having a 40th birthday party in Florida. Oh, my God. Wait. Not, uh, uh, so he, uh, as far as your father, uh, 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 as far as he knows, you're having a 40th birthday party, but it's not in Florida, and that's what he's upset about. He just says, where's your birthday party? And I'm like, I don't think I'm having one. I think I'm going to the Bay Area and I'm going to go see a Rage Against the Machine show. Not doing it in Florida? <laughs> doing what? <laughs> why, why can't you go to the Bay Area in Florida? <laughs> <laughs> so he wants, he wants to do it. And then I'm like fucked up because I'm like, I'm like, that's weird. He's not a guy who makes weird demands. And then I'm like, all of a sudden I'm in my head. I'm like, well, fuck. Like, is this like a mortality thing that he, he, he knows there's only so many gigantic milestones in his life and, and he wants to be there. And he, he felt he, he, he banked you're talking about it. he made your milestones. Uh, yeah, for him. Be yes. No, no. There's only so many more opportunities that he's going to be able to be there for me right. at, at a moment in which I am crossing some major milestone. And so now I'm fucking in my head and I'm like, I'm talking to my wife and I'm like, well, fuck. You want to know what? Let's plan a birthday party in Florida before oh. the Rage Against the Machine show. So we'll, we'll go. We'll do a thing. Is this heading where I think it's headed? Uh, uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. Uh, uh, I, I'm like, oh, let's let's plan a thing. Let's go. Let's do a thing. It'll be fun. We'll have all the Florida friends. Then we'll go out, and it'll be almost like me traversing my life. I'm beginning it here, and then I'm going there. It'll be it'll be actually kind of poetic for for a big milestone. Uh, and she's like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll figure it out. I get a call from my stepdad last week, literally on the way to this show. He's like, hey, by the way, by the birthday party, I'm not going to be in town in March. <laughs> uh, fucking God. <laughs> So now, one part of my newly made poetic 40th birthday celebration where I would go to Florida and then go to the Bay Area. Now that's fucked. And then today, Zach Della Roca announces that he ripped his ACL and he can't do the rest of the tour. Fuck my stepdad. Fuck Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> and, and you get a call from Fauci going, hey, fuck you, Justin. This has all been my plan. <laughs> right. I have worked tirelessly to make your life a true hell. So how, how do we repair this? How do we fix it? How do we make things right? I feel like that's a dangling thread for every episode going forward. <laughs> Brian. Nice next topic. Chris and Wes were in town. Oh boy. Uh, 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 remember when I was the number one YouTube magic teaching channel on the planet? We're the Black Eyed Peas with Fergie. We are doing a different song. This is two timestamp. The time that Brian was definitely the number one YouTuber in magic. <laughs> 
a little later than that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> they were hot for a while. They were hot for a while. Yeah. Uh, Fergalicious is what I'm thinking. Around that uh, hi, I'm Fergie. I love the Black Eyed Peas. Now I'm a solo artist, and I'm very exciting. <laughs> so uh, I, 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 I was displaced by uh, the very talented Chris Ramsey. When? Uh, oh. That's not something I'm comfortable and with. And now, <laughs> Brian pretends he doesn't know the exact date. <laughs> I, 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 I do know that Scam School was one of the first, uh, uh, of the, uh, one of the first 1,000 channels on YouTube to ever cross uh, a million subscribers. Yes. And, and so that, that's, that's my uh, hooray for me. Uh, uh, but at some point, like, like, just like I recognized that all magic tutorials were garbage on the yeah. internet, uh, 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 and, and so we brought a three camera shoot. We went in the field, we went to bars and got real people and all that stuff looked like a television show. Um, essentially, uh, 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 Chris Ramsey figured out, wait, uh, this is YouTube, not television. What, uh, what is, what is, you know, PewDiePie look like? And, and so what if we did that kind of pacing and yeah. super concentrated thing, you know, eventually usurped or whatever. So uh, for like 10 years, people have been saying like, when's there going to be a collab between you two? You used to be the mom. No, now he's number one. Did they say that or is that your inner monologue? Uh, well, no, no, no. People did ask for a collab. Like, yes. like they were oh, genuinely no, no, no. fans that, of no, both that of part for sure. Yeah. Just not the like, you're uh, past your prime. <laughs> he's the young buck. <laughs> I feel like that very much sounds like things that Brian thinks. I don't know if even that. Uh, from what I understand, it's what the kids are saying nowadays. <laughs> 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 None of that is what the kids are saying <laughs> nowadays. <laughs> and by the way, yeah, the person who actually has to moderate the uh, comments on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, but it, it just so happened that uh, Chris Ramsey uh, hits me up uh, on Twitter. He's like, I'm in Austin. Uh, be here till the 4th. What's up? And I'm like, holy shit. You know, I happen to be totally free this weekend. Um, and uh, uh, so day one Saturday, we had planned to get together. But he, uh, he texted like, oh, no, 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 we're going to go to uh, shoot guns in San Antonio. Uh, we should be back at 2. And 2 rolls around. And I get the text like, you'll be a little later, maybe 3.30. And instantly I'm like, oh, I know what this is. Yeah. Somebody was out in the sunshine all day. Because it is only an hour and a half from San Antonio to here. You can definitely, you know. Well, but but more importantly, like, you know, if you're doing any kind of gun shooting video stuff, it's like that that's going to go longer than you expect. You're going to be baking in the sun. You're going to sure. be tired. And it, it's like I. I oh, I, so you think it's from a shoot like like his oh, no, shoot it was is. so it, challenging. It, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, and also it's 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 three thirty and it's like you're not going to have the energy to, you know, bust out a whole another. episode. Sure. So, so so we're uh, not going to say the real thing. What's that? Why they didn't come up that day. What what is the real thing? Because we keep going with the story. And then when we get to the moment where I hear the real reason, then I'll jump in. But go okay, ahead. Well, well, I was going to skip to the next day because my yes, experience. The next day. Yeah. Uh, 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 the next day. Uh, 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 so basically, we text back and forth like, hey, man, I've been there. I, yeah, I'd be wiped. Uh, don't worry about it. We'll do it tomorrow. So on Sunday. So I get up early and, and, I, I, and I head in. And uh, I, I'm like racked with this kind of like uh, not, not, not guilt or just this self-awareness of like, oh, my God, I'm 10 years older and and. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm old and fat and busted, and he's young and amazing and talented and all those things. Uh, but I'll be damned Self-doubt. Yes. Uh, I'll be damned if when I got there, I wasn't greeted with so much kindness and love. And, and uh, I, I suggested a few different things. We ended up doing like a five best bar bets or whatever. Yeah. And even it, then. It, it, it's a level of kindness I could only describe as Canadian. <laughs> yes, which yes. he is. He yes. is. Yeah. So, 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 uh, I, I start going through the bits, and it's very clear, like, like three of the five he had never seen before, and that was really exciting. And I taught Wes how to eat fire, and it was like high five. Uh, and uh, 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 we <laughs> we are now done for the day. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? They're like, I don't know. We're gonna go see this comedy show and later on. I was like, uh, have you been in the speakeasy in town? And they're like, what speakeasy? And it's like, uh, oh, uh, well, there's a speakeasy, and uh, uh, it's it's uh, 0.7 miles away. Let's say we just take some of those scooters and head on out. So we start heading on out and uh, uh, headed to the red-headed stepchild, yep. uh, which we've talked about before. And uh, we get down, and we turn around the corner, and uh, at some point, we're stopped at a light, and uh, there's an awkward pause, and then Wes pipes up with, um, hey, Brian. Does anybody ever recognize you around town? 
and uh, me, you know, distracted. I'm like, well, back when I was doing the spiky hair, it was pretty unmistakable. Nowadays, you know, it's like this or whatever. Pause. And then I hear someone say, Brian? <laughs> and I turn around, and he's like, Nick from Pot Therapy. <laughs> hey! And, and, so, uh, and I was like, oh, yeah, I was just on your show. And, and, and so apparently they had caught that he was looking at me uh, 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 with interest and, and figured out that I think this person recognizes Brian, yeah. and they were teeing that up. Uh, uh, and so I just shook Nick's hand, uh, and I was just like a, a floppy disk repair company. It's at Fifth of Brazos. It's a speakeasy. I'll meet you there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then just drove off on a scooter. Uh, and, and you then, got to uh, floppy disk repair before they did. Correct. Uh, 3.30 p.m. Uh -huh. uh, forgot that they don't open until 4. Sure. Oop. On a Sunday, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so then what'd you do? Left. Oh, so you went to another bar. Yep. While the group of people, including Nick from Pod Therapy. Yep. Went to go wait outside of the bar, presumably for you. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Man. Oh, I see what happened. It eventually opened. <laughs> uh, but only after they left. Uh, and, so, <laughs> and so around 4.15, 4.20, we head back, and there's a couple of tourists. Do you, do you remember that photo of you toasting of yeah. the line of people yeah. waiting for somebody to open the door so they could all pour in? Sneak in. I was there the moment that a bunch of looky-loos came pouring into the place, and the bartender didn't love it. Yep. So I knew I had a moral responsibility. And my moral responsibility involved it. Uh, I could say this because the code has changed now. Going up and typing 8008 boob, uh, star and opening the door. Chris Ramsey goes in. Wes goes in. I go in and I begin to close the door with my hands on it. And I feel a tug on the door. <gasps> yeah. From the girl oh. who's been waiting oh, no, for a half hour no, outside. No, no, I grab no, no, no. And I pull. <laughs> Magnetic seal, we're good. Uh, and then uh, it's a strong uh, magnet they got there too. It's Hit for the greater good. The it's, it's the bricks. moral thing. Uh, Brian then texts me, "Hey, we're at Speakeasy. Smash cut Justin's porch for comedic effect. Uh, Sublime's playing." <laughs> <laughs> I think that says everything you need to say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm watching Kenny Pickett start for the Steelers. <laughs> And I, in a very subdued and very delayed manner, go, good. <laughs> uh, Brian's, oh, wait. Uh, uh, I'm at Speakeasy. Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> Smash cut back to Speakeasy. Uh, anyway, here's a great drink. It's, it's a spicy take on a Moscow mule and this, the, the other thing. Oh, hey, Nick's here. We're talking about pop therapy. These are your friends and all, all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, 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 J hey, Justin, are you, are you, when are you going to get here? Boom. I make my way in there, uh, punching in the right code. And at that point, they tell me that the reason why they were late on Saturday was because they were having a grand old time with the people who shoot guns and had gotten way too fucking hammered to get on the road oh. and get to Austin, even at the late hour that you guys were initially thinking. And they also threw a party that was uh, had one of those uh, uh, floater guests. Brett, you ever see these like where it's like no nobody invited them? Everyone thinks they were invited oh. by somebody else. This person was a literal crackhead. Oh. Oh. Who, who yes, was I have seen that Who was taking a Keurig <laughs> cup And scooping the grounds From the Keurig cup And wiping them on her face Saying so good for your skin It's so good that, No it's not <laughs> no, Have it's... you tried it hater <sighs> I guess I haven't mm, Telling So uh, 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 you shoot the stuff It goes fantastic uh, We hang out together The next day we come here to the studio and uh, we record their podcast, which is Bottom of the Barrel, if I'm yep. not right. mistaken. That's right. Uh, uh, everybody, go check that out when when it when it drops because it was really two fun. solid episodes of Scam Nation. Yep. Oh, wait, uh, I'm sorry. Can I just uh, can we run that back? Did he say two? Two solid episodes yeah. of Scam Nation. Now, so Real foolers. So so you did collabs on his channel. Yep. He is doing. Uh, collabs on your channel. That's correct. And we got two solid episodes of Scam Nation. Now, see, my producer's telling me that that number just isn't right. Do we have a better number than that? Well, we do have a better number than yeah. two. We, we did shoot three. <laughs> oh, so wait a minute. Hold on. So there are two different uh, uh, tricks. I was there for both of them. Yep. They're yep. both very good. Yep. If you were to right now 
Guess which of the three videos will be the most viewed? It'll be the third one. Will it be? Oh, there's a third one. A little bit will of a break be? from Can format. Can somebody zoom in on Brian's face? This is Brian very desperately trying to not spill <laughs> what will be an amazing and funny surprise for his audience. He has desperately, desperately wanted to spill it. In fact, when he pitched the idea of spilling it on the show today, he couldn't help but show the actual clip <laughs> to Brett in the middle of the fucking meeting because... <laughs> The urge was that strong price next topic. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> the allure of cheating. Uh, <laughs> did you guys see this? Uh, <laughs> are you guys seeing this? <laughs> so uh, there. That should be the name of the segment. Did uh, you guys see this? Did you guys see this? What so, what is happening? So there was a fishing tournament in Ohio uh, mm-hmm. at Lake Erie over uh, the weekend, I believe. Uh, a good prize. It was based on uh, people enter. So you, people enter the pot and uh, and it grows. So there was about a twenty nine thousand dollar pot for the winner of this fishing tournament. Mm-hmm. Oh. Brian, you a fisher? You fish much? Uh, I'm familiar with the practice. I've never fished in my life. You've never fished. You've never no. fished no. ever. No. We Part need to do on this. a. On an apple tree, we've got to go fish. Yes. Hard on an apple tree. I don't know. I don't know. Sure. Has everybody fished? Am I? Yeah, the, am I, right, the you man I, I I have fished. Oh, Lisa, fish. you fished. Jeff, oh, you yeah. fished. He says no. He said oh. fuck no. Technically, he said fuck, he said, fuck no. All right. Well, thanks, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Which is playing. weird because I grew up in a place where people fly from around the world to go fishing. Yeah. Yeah. They they fish out in uh, uh, out of out of Fort Lauderdale all the time. Not not once. I guess nobody really got it into like that. Nobody nobody was like, "Hey, let's all go fishing." Like, you ain't done the deep sea fishing. No. You ain't gone ice fishing. No. You what ain't? about uh, beach fishing? Have you gone beach fishing? Uh, no. Island no. fishing. Yeah. You, you ever no. fish for? How about, for... how about like pond fishing? Mm. You been pond fishing? Maybe I fish for compliments. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> it's it's me, the swishy inspector back. Oh no! From the dead. You thought I killed myself, but now <laughs> here I am yet again for this joke. <laughs> uh, uh, so what happened? Uh, so so this was the uh, Lake Erie Wall Eye Trail Tournament. And uh, uh, Jason Fisher. Prestigious, prestigious. Jason Fisher, the director of this tournament. His name is Fisher. Fuck you. you. Bullshit. It is F I S. Bullshit. C H E R. That's actually, how funny would it be? Hello, welcome to the Indy 500. It's me, Fast Car Racerman. (laughs) (laughs) And you won't believe what we're about to see. We go now to boxing covered live. Hi, I'm Doug Punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> we have the best boxers in this entire world, and we're going to see them punch each other in the face. Wow, that's odd. Anyway, uh, uh, let's uh, uh, take a break here and go to uh, 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 a big charity for uh, kids with cleft lips. Here's uh, this moment. <laughs> Hi, this is Steve. Uh, problem with my face. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you for joining Wait a minute, us. hold on. Steve, and now, and now we're yeah. going to go. I'm now, trouble talking right now. Now, now. now we're going to go to uh, a man who's offended by that joke. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> this is a message. That's me, Eric Snowflake. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> that's right. So. So. <laughs> So there was a big tournament. Jig that was so fucking (laughs) clear. So they're doing a tournament. This is a tournament where the fish that you catch, they weigh it, and based on how much it weighs, that's how you get ranked and classified, right? Yeah. Well, uh, can I show you? uh, Let's just listen. Let's just listen. This is gorgeous. Just listen here to uh, uh, to. And and, uh, and I'm just gonna say this because I've heard this clip, Mm. Brian. I need you internally, okay, to count how many times the phrase. Piece of shit is said. Got it. All right. All right. Ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right. Here we go. Then. We got weights and dicks. There we go. Oh, 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 out of here. So they're they're at the the classifying. Where's the other one? Call the cops. Call the cops. Yep. 
Jake, I want you to leave. I don't want anybody to touch these guys. I want you to leave. You to jail. You should be in jail? <laughs> so they're about to cut open the fish. What? This is really inconsistent beeping. Oh my god! Okay, all right. He he just sliced a fish open and and pulled out like a a a a a, 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 piece a lead of weight. Grapple. Lead weight. It's yeah. a lead weight. Uh, in this next fish that they slice open, there's another lead. There's another lead weight. Okay. And and another lead. Another lead weight. A filleted fish. A filleted tilapia fish. <laughs> so they just shoved another fish fillet in the fish to make it way more. There's no way this is real. A hundred percent. This is no, the this, most this real thing. This is a thing. sports controversy. You are a sports commentator. Okay. CNN Sports is the column that covered this. I didn't. I didn't want to make a big deal about this, but I recently have taken a retainer to be the spokesperson for this fish. Oh, okay. For, the for fish. that. Wait, wait. The fish. The fish. the fish that was cut open. Yeah. The first one or the second one? Both of them. Okay. okay. Oh, that's good. Can I? All right. Glory all red. Jesus. <laughs> Goop dot. <laughs> we got one damn it in the, in the audience. <laughs> Scoop.com. That's my defense. Those are, those are Wait, lead you're eggs. defending the fish? The fish, yeah. <laughs> you just wanted to make a thing up the... A lead egg yeah. joke? A, th a thing up the hoo-ha joke. Oh, are, are you accusing the, my clients of lying? Uh, I don't know yet. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Goop. I've just decided in this improv, I'm a passerby. <laughs> <laughs> and you're accosting me on the street. So, so uh, is there more? Uh, so uh, they apparently have given some sort of information uh, to the Ohio, let's see, Department of Natural Resources, I guess. There is an open investigation. Maybe charges will be filed. But the, the, the pair who caught these fish, uh, I... I'm surprised they made it out of that video alive. Yeah. So, so, no so appa apparently, joke. and this is uh, uh, only from stuff I read on Twitter, but those guys had won a series of tournaments yeah. leading up to this one. They had won a bunch of money. This was a tournament for $100,000 that they had just won. And so that's why people are screaming, this is theft, this is theft, you should be in jail. It was the tournament before this that was 100. This so, one was oh, only 30,000. Oh, less this than is 30, only 30. Okay, are, but, 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 but they've but done they it won. before. You're right, they've done it on multiple yeah. tournaments, or they have won multiple tournaments very are, are, are they accused of, like, uh, uh, catching the fish and just shoving that in afterwards? Basically, yes. Okay, okay, because, like, I kid you not, randomly, Chris Ramsey brought up the controversy in the chess world. Do you know about this? This just <laughs> happened. Yeah, today it was uh, proven that 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 homie uh, cheated. Yeah. Oh, uh, did they explain how he cheated? It's in the New York Times. Okay, because uh, Chris Ramsey was like, "Yeah, dude, dude's got a thumper of a butt plug." <laughs> like, uh, really? <laughs> yeah, that's what he was saying. Yeah. He's like, he definitely has something up his ass that that buzzes and tells him what to do with the chessboard. He digs a balloon up his ass to Holland. <laughs> that's what. That, that's what uh, the uh, uh, Hans uh, Niemann somebody said uh, has been alleged of over one hundred games cheating using this uh, <clears throat> method. Wait, wait, so so that was the Anal method? Anal bead conspiracy. Yeah. Oh, you got it right. He had a he yeah. had a vibrator up his sphincter. And why are we dancing around that? Where else would he put the anal bead? Well, uh, I wasn't dancing. I would never dance with an anal bead. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, okay, hold on. Actually, Title of the episode. <laughs> I, might, the, I the, might. By the way, by the way, the forbidden Whitney Houston song. <laughs> <laughs> and I would never dance with an anal bead. <laughs> I was thinking of that's, a more up-tempo yeah. number, but let's roll with it. I want to dance with some anal beads. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get really hot with some anal beads. So they, uh, they, they, they might uh, file charges against these guys, and I don't think that they're going to get this money. <laughs> it's $30,000 for sure. So, uh, okay, who else has lead up their butt? Oh, oh, geez. Probably Bowlers? The... Well, how would, they, how would a bowler cheat? They put, like, magnets... In the like, like behind all the pins. Uh, like, I've got a secret ball. It's me, Wiley Coyote, <laughs> professional bowler. What <But> genius! <laughs> yeah. Turns out there are very few sports that are made better by putting lead weights and butts. 
Well, I mean, yeah, because we're, 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 we're debate divers. We are. Do you think debate gets better? <laughs> Is debate debate a gets better. All right. How it, yeah, debate debate would get better if people were clairvoyant <laughs> and, and in regards to the proposition, I definitely conclude. Uh, uh, I'm done. Oh, he's never used an anal bead before. Yeah. Yeah. He's never done no, it before. I, I How would it sound something. if he did, Bryce? <laughs> oh, this is a family program. I'm not allowed to. This is. But all right, no. But just all right. So don't do it yourself. But if uh, if there were a, a, a anthropomorphic bear or somebody using it, like <laughs> how would that sound? Oh, uh, hey, boo boo. <laughs> I uh, got some picnic baskets for you. Picnic. <laughs> Wait. So normal Yogi. <laughs> normal Yogi bear was keeping so like, anal so beads. No, in like the Yogi mask. normally, like that's what anal beads uh, uh, make you sound like. Pick a nick basket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo. <laughs> okay. Uh, right next topic. Another topic. Slowly. <laughs> Taste the goodness. Gentlemen, this is a meme alert. Oh, shit. Meme alert. Beep, 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 beep. If we go to the comedy police on location. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's me. Uh, who knew? Three times in 30 minutes I'd be back. You thought, hey, this is like those shitty movies where they find reasons to bring back popular characters, despite the fact that they just ended them by way of a dark, grim way that probably made them even more famous. I know oh. I died two bits ago, but let oh. me tell you, here I am again. Ready to die. So I'm going to tip you it's off. the multiverse now. There's three of me. <laughs> it's like Space Jam 2. <laughs> so I'm going to tip you off into the next big meme. Uh, some of the people in the chat have already noticed this. Yogi Bearback. Oh, that's really <laughs> good. That's really good. Your man, Jeff. What a legend. Uh, Justin, can you describe the, the freeze frame of a video that we're looking at here? Uh, yes, I can. Oh. Uh, uh, mostly because this was already fed to me on my For You page. Oh, you do know it! Uh, 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 I was wondering why when you mentioned it. It sounded familiar. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yes, it is a metallic woman in a dress that comes to the mid-thigh. Got a real donk on her. Uh, it's a purple dress walking down the beach, and uh, uh, instead of there being a metallic lady face, there is just you, me. Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm going to click play. Taste the biscuits. Taste the goodness of the biscuits. <laughs> Taste the honey sauce. Taste the goodness <laughs> of the biscuits <laughs> with the honey sauce. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> taste okay. the biscuit. Taste the okay. So that's that's taste the biscuit. Yeah, that is a a, a a meme on TikTok. So that is actually from a 2011 mockumentary comedy film uh, called uh, 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 "Chickens in the Shadows." Uh, you might. I wonder if you maybe have seen it uh, from from one of these clips. Maybe. Like yes. The biscuit <laughs> with the honey sauce. I have Where not are seen this, but it looks amazing. I have not, no. I don't like the way it mixes with my chicken wings. <laughs> this is amazing. So this is a... Get none of that honey sauce on me. They're doing this in like a thrift store. I don't store. like the way it's it a... tastes on my chicken wings. Okay, it's just too catchy. I absolutely appreciate her confidence. I think... Mm -hmm. Her confidence is she's, amazing. She wants everybody to taste the biscuit. Yep. And so, wait, so hold on. So this was uh, uh, now co-opted by TikTok? It was partly co-opted by this filter, the filter of the chrome lady. Oh, the chrome lady walking where you can just put anybody's face on the chrome lady. Right. That is now because she is walking in a similar cadence to the chase the ticket wing. Taste the chicken wing. Taste, taste the chicken wing. Taste the chicken wing. Or, yeah. No, no, no. It tastes the biscuit, right? Taste, taste, the, the, taste biscuit. the biscuit. But I don't like it when it mixes with the chicken exactly, wing. Exactly, yeah. Uh, and it's evolving. Uh, it is evolving a is, little Is it bit. sentient? What, what, what is happening? Much like. Like many things on TikTok. Taste the biscuit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the honey sauce. Don't put that honey sauce on me. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness people are making of the biscuit. So people are remixing the Taste the Biscuit, biscuit song talk. and then putting it on different dancing 
Filters. Body. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, biscuit talk will cure cancer and create world peace is what it claims <laughs> on that video. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, it's a there, there's a a good article out now talking with the I believe the the man who directed it and some of the people who were in in that film. But it's all up on YouTube. It's from 2011. If you just look it up, uh, it's like an hour long or something, and it's supposed to be really good. Uh, but they talked about it because that apparently those clip uh, clips of it have gone viral. Over My the favorite year. part of that interview was when they were talking about making it, and they were like, "Well, you know, we really wanted to understand that this is a time when Brian Brushwood has the number one magic <laughs> YouTube channel." <laughs> God damn it! Also, and most of our decisions it, were Obama is by still that. president, and yeah. we uh-huh. feel like this is our moment. And we're not worried about Mitt Romney at all. Nope, <laughs> not even a little bit. So that's that's just a little bit of a heads up. Keep an eye out for the taste of the biscuit, because because a everybody it is be- is already becoming a meme, but it's going to be the next big, big next big thing you see next around everywhere. Next hey, big look, thing. Hey, look, we're ahead of the internet. Uh, finally, for once, we're uh, we're ahead of the curve and not destroying the life of uh, 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 eighteen or nineteen year old college delightful person but yeah we're not now doing we're gonna that need to explain uh, more because that sounds horrifyingly <laughs> predatory for people who don't know the story of get melissa an ipod yeah uh you know what uh that's why dc tvpedia exists that's uh right. take a look you'll find it there we go uh uh well uh, uh, uh i want your loving and your loving revenge uh you and me <laughs> Can go to patreon.com slash great night and uh, uh, subscribe to our Patreon. We've got great content. Great content there. Not only the content that you get here in a special RSS feed, but also you get the bonus episodes. Ryan, how many per month? Uh, Four. (laughs) Usually four. Yeah. (laughs) And five shows up. Fucking whatever. <laughs> must 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 be a 31 day month. Turns out there were five Thursdays in this month. That's right. Uh, 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 dude, I love I love doing the Bones po- podcast. It's so good. It's so relaxed. It's so chill. It's so uh, it's a lot of uh, confessional and funny. It's it's really good. Plus, and you guys are gonna do it without me this week. What? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be at I'm gonna be at the cult. Oh yeah, you're going to your thing. Can you talk about that cult? <laughs> Not any more than I talked about the. First time that I said I didn't know shit. Can I don't talk- know shit. I'm oh, going to yeah, be there this week. Yeah. Is it talk- more of a cult? We're going to find out okay. this week, this weekend. Yeah. You, you don't want to share any rumors? Oh, I looked up a, a Guardian article from 2004 that said it was a CIA front. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I wish I wish oh. you could see Brett right now. He His... His hands are clasped together, yeah. his mouth in the shape of an O, as though he was gardening and just saw <laughs> two people having coitus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! This is so <laughs> exciting! <laughs> no, I just Googled the organization and rumors. <laughs> oh, no. And that was the number one thing was, hey, look at this CIA front. That's pretty good. <laughs> It's pretty good. like the Wizard Academy. Uh, uh, Patreon.com slash great night. I almost said the other thing. Bryce, do you have a game for us? We do. Hello, everybody. Uh, uh, The 2022 winners for the Little Litten Contest have been announced. This is a bite-sized version of the annual competition to write the most hilariously bad first sentence of a novel. Mm. In the normal Boulevard Litten Contest that they've been doing for ages, entries are usually pretty long. Uh, they're they're often meandering into and yes out of clauses. Uh, they kind of guide the reader you know, or the listener uh, through a dark and stormy hall of cliches uh, that are about as long you as the legs. Do you have that... an example? Well, I was <laughs> doing. Yep, that was my bit. Uh, so it's... Wait, wait, no, no, no. Sorry, we're just. <laughs> Two ghouls passing down the trail. It's October, by the way. We're we the like... ghosts of half-written comedic bits yeah. from long ago. Well, so long ago. In fact, we're so desperate for a punchline <laughs> that we continue to ask people, do you have an example? Hello, welcome to Wendy's. <laughs> Hi, I'm the ghoul walking down the road. Yes, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah uh, what, what can I get you? I would like one frosty. A number one? 
No, <laughs> not a number <laughs> one, not the comp. Do you have an example <laughs> of what a number one would be? <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? I just got back from a summer camp with UCB. I do. Uh, <clears throat> pretend we're at a train station, ghoul. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're not at a Wendy's. Uh, I'm the president. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and you're. Do my... you have an example of the another right. president? <laughs> Pret not you, but somebody else. So I might have heard of people who have done your job. No, that, 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 that's a good setup. Uh, <clears throat> now, uh, 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 let me be clear. Uh, I, I, this may look like a Wendy's, but uh, uh, I'm President Barack George Obama. George W. Bush. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I have a friend who's a comedy <laughs> inspector who told me a bunch of funny stories. Okay, okay. Now uh, we are holding up a lot of cars, but let me hold. On, let me clear the at air. At the White House? <laughs> no, at the at the Wendy's that we're actually at. But 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 in our scene, we're not holding anybody. Okay. Up. Okay. All right. Thank <clears> you for <throat> reorienting me. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 uh, as my chief advisor. Yeah, I, I, I'm hired. <laughs> Hold <laughs> on, let me call my mom. Okay. <laughs> Hi, mom. Oh, sweetheart, it's so good to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Wait, are I you have a eating? new job. Uh, now, you know you can't have Wendy's all day. No, it's another job. Okay, is it a real job this time? Because uh, the other one was definitely a pyramid scheme. No, I don't have an example. Click. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're back. Okay. So, a number two, then? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not hungry. <laughs> All right, drive, drive through. Drive okay. Through. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, Bryce, do you have an example? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we collapsed all the narratives. That's all it. right. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. In the uh, in this contest, <laughs> I don't know. Jeez. In the Little Litten contest, entries must adhere to a 200-character limit. For brevity's sake, I've taken some of the real selections for the 2022 calendar and put them against what OpenAI thought were some good ideas for some entries. Uh, folks, this is a new game I like to call it. It's lit! You're going to have to tell me if, a, if an entry is lit because it's from the Little Litten contest or if it's not lit because our friends over at OpenAI came up with this. I okay. mean, thank yous to get out of the way, including Adam Cadre, who runs the contest, Bianca M., Anna Molinar, and uh, Sophie Z., uh, whose entries from 2021 helped train OpenAI. All right, everybody ready to play? Everybody's going to get their own. Brett, would you like to play? Sure. Will you mind keeping score as well? I would not mind. Okay, thank you very much. We want an example. Does anybody want an example? No, yes. we don't. I'd prefer you didn't. Yeah, I no. We fucking asked for it like five minutes ago. Yeah, <laughs> I was in the middle what of my the monologue. Fuck? Dude, I mean, it's like, like if, if you're not going to deliver on time, yeah. just don't deliver at all. Do you want us to do another ill-advised improv? Okay, all right, As, fine, no, fine. No, Ding no, dong. No, 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 no. I'm Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here's an example. <laughs> Give me. Any, my I love I love <laughs> punishment improv as an idea where it's like imagine two parents where they never ground the kids <laughs> like do I have to do an improv scene with your mother <laughs> because I have five topics yeah. ready to go right give now give me one job <laughs> looking for one job uh, I heard dentist, dentist. <laughs> don't make me count to three jobs uh, all right, so, uh, uh, and also, Brett, do you mind reading these? These are kind of pro, they're supposed to maybe be the beginning of a novel. Do you mind? I'll put them on screen for to. you. I would love to. I would love to. Okay, I'll put them on screen for you. Here's the first one. This is an example, Brett. All right. Jason and Laura may have loved each other, but they were as sharply different as Pacific <laughs> and Atlantic. So different. The so Pacific different. be waving like this. <laughs> I preferred it when the Black Eyed Peas had Fergie. <laughs> Atlantic be splashing like this. I liked it when they didn't have Fergie. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sharply different. Meanwhile, the Indian Ocean, I liked her solo career. <laughs> Fergalicious is a bop, okay? It is. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, Justin, uh, for this example, Rand, is this lit or not lit? 
So we're looking for people who are intentionally trying to write the shittiest. And you're looking for the ones that a human wrote, not uh, a human wrote, not a computer. But but the computer is also trying to write the shittiest. Yeah, it's yeah, it's supposed to. It's like a game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it's, it's, like, it's like it's like it's no. like it's like remember remember the story of John Henry and Inky Poo? Oh yeah, it's like that, but for hacks. Oh yeah, uh, beep bop boop. I am Inky Poo. <laughs> <laughs> I dig holes the fastest. Bah, 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 bah. There's only one roll left in this improv, and you have to do it just to rob a young. Bah, bah, hey, it's bah. me, John Henry. <laughs> Did you find the real killer, John Henry? Well, you know, after I rushed for 2,000 yards in one single season, had a distinguished broadcasting career and a promising career as an actor in comedic roles such as The Naked Gun. The Naked Gun. Gun two and the naked gun thirty three and the third. I'm now John Henry. Uh, uh, Self destruct. <laughs> gotcha. Another one down. <laughs> he's like a Terminator. No, he's against the Terminators. They're Terminators. Uh, 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 did Did you hear uh, the story that that O.J. Simpson was originally All right. cast as the Terminator? You hear yes, that? I did yeah. hear that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I know that's a true I, fact. That's it not, is. That's oh, it is bullshit. Yeah, I didn't that, know that. that's actually not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think you would have crushed it. I think uh, you would have killed it twice. <laughs> I, I think he would have found. Uh, mm. <laughs> there was two movies. Come on. Two Terminators. Uh, more than two. Okay. All right. For this example, one Jason and Laura may have loved each other, but they were as sharply different as the Pacific and Atlantic. Justin, I think that is a human. It's got all the sweaty human characteristics of trying to write shittily. There's the names, the oceans. <laughs> I can smell the human sweat. You can smell. You can smell the effort. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? No, I, 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 I like. I like my way of saying it is more like Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think it's a robot. Okay. Uh, uh, Brett, what about you? Why don't you take a As the Ferengi say, I think it was done by a human. By a human. All right, well, let's take a look here. Where's the thing? This one was written by a human. That was hey! lit. Uh, was by El Sporer, I think. So that was the example around. Uh, we got a lot of these, so everybody's right. going to get their own. Okay, we're, we're ready. Nice and quick. We're going right. to blast. All right, uh, Brett, can I have you read this for me? Love it. They say it takes a village to raise a child, but even a city could not dim Lexi's spirit. All right, Justin, this is for you. They say it takes a village to raise a child, but even a child could not dim a city could not dim Lexi's spirit. <laughs> this is the beginning of a novel. Shitty writing's the best. <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh my god. I I don't think a computer could get that much can, wrong. Can get that much horseshit into one sentence. I genuinely think that has to be, if it's not a human, I'm going to believe that AI is further along. All that, right. that it will genuinely affect my opinion of AI if, like, if, if that could be the case. So, yeah, let's go ahead. Human. Right. Your answer of human is correct. Hey. That is an anonymous I sentence. still got it. That's Score one, one for the I'm biological. I'm a human race. That's, that's right. All right, Brian. I've got worth. Stop, <laughs> Stop wow. casting your shadow on me, robot. That really <laughs> descended quickly. Hey, we've all been through a lot lately, Brian. <laughs> I'm you, and you, and you, and you. I'm the entire human race. It's this jaunty, weird attitude that we're all giving off. We're all doing it at the same time. Yep. Yep, we should all be embarrassed. Yep. But you won. Barely. Okay. There we go. All right, uh, uh, Brett, can you read this? One for Brian. I'm <laughs> not joking, said the comedian before killing someone with a r rubber, chicken. rubber chicken. That's got to be a robot. You say that's a robot? Why is it a robot? Uh, uh, because it's too simplistic and it makes too much sense. It makes too much sense. All right. Well, let's find out. <laughs> Brian, your answer is correct. Hey, hey. Hey. Open AI's Da Vinci. Not lit. All right, Brett, we're going to go to you for this one. All right. Uh, and can I have you read this to yourself? I will read it to myself. All right, here we go. Okay. 
Oh, but out loud. Yeah, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, a smile rolled up and parked itself on the scene that, that was, was his, his face. Oh. How you feeling about That's that? That's borderline good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is to you, Brett. Is this yep. a real? Did a human uh, submit this? Or I mean, it's it's straight up good if you imagine somebody's you know twelve. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No. Yeah. If if if, if, you, if one of my have, kids, if, yeah, 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 one yeah. of your kids had written that, you'd be like, she's got yeah. something. Yeah. 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 And then she would say, "I am a robot father." <laughs> All right, Brett, a smile rode up and parked itself on the scene that was his face. face. Is this real or fake? I think I'm going to say it is uh, a real person. You're going to say a human wrote that one, yeah. a real one. Okay. Well, your answer is... Correct! Yeah! yeah. Wow, dude, we're, all, we're, all, we're all good at this game. There we go. That's a point for everybody. Justin, we're going to go back to you on this one. Bring and it on. Well, Bring Brett, it on. Can I have you read this, please? Yes. My mind was racing, NASCAR style. <laughs> oh. uh, this one's on the borderline. Yep. This one is on the borderline, but I think it's a robot. We're robotting wrong for the robot song. Are you going to get some robot insurance for this? We are. Yep. We're, we are, we're, we're doing the robot dance. Uh, could, could you describe what NASCAR style is? Well, I mean, this is kind of embarrassing, but you know, but yeah. my mind is racing NASCAR style right now. It is a uh, uh, very turning left. It perpetually. is very, very commercial. Yes. Um, it is identified with one political party. Yes. Uh, and there is a controversy about a new a garage in your mind, in my mind. Okie dokie. Yep. All right. NASCAR style. <laughs> I don't know what half of those were. <laughs> <laughs> I had one joke, and I did the, the very brief moment that I did uh, uh, stand-up comedy. I had a joke about NASCAR. Uh, okay. Do, are you, are you prepared joke? to can, share can it? Hear it? And that joke. Do, do you, you want to do it? Good you, idea? I will. Should we, should we, should we intro you? <laughs> should you? Okay. No, no, Ladies fuck. and gentlemen. Right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, listen up. We've had a really good time at, 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 at Pete Tony's Chuckle Palace. Uh, <laughs> next up, we got a really promising uh, journalism major. He's uh, part of uh, the, uh, the, the journalists. That's right. Big J. Big J. Let's give it up for Jerbs. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey. It's me. Uh... <laughs> Two drink menu. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, you know, uh, I'm from Florida. Uh, it is a southern state. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I. Uh, uh, they like a lot of things that people up north don't really like, including NASCAR. NASCAR is a really big deal there. Uh, uh, topical humor to when this joke was written. Uh, uh, Dale Earnhardt just died. See, see, Di here. died in NASCAR. Uh, uh, at this time, there was not a question of who I was talking about. Uh, uh, and people take it really, really seriously. You know, they, they, he was he was three. He was three. And they would, and you would just hear it. You listen at night. You would just hear the NASCAR fans go like, three, three. And I never really thought it was that big of a deal until one night, an intimate moment with my high school girlfriend. I admit, I put three fingers inside of her, <laughs> and she cried. <laughs> Did about as well then. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Justin Robert Young, everybody! <laughs> wow. I you told that joke with confidence. I yeah. like like I've, uh, <laughs> I I I thought Felix Baumgartner had balls when he jumped off of the space capsule. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my word. Yeah. All right. Price next. Uh, <laughs> okay, we were, no. Oh, yes, we. Uh, uh, so you answered that you believed that my mind was racing NASCAR style. Yeah, was written by a robot, and yeah. that answer is. Is incorrect. Oh, wow. oh. That's right. 
was Evan. That was a real one. Uh, Long way to that's go. That's a classic you were wrong. EE move. Classic EE, and now okay. he's leaving. He's so pissed. He's off. pissing. Okay, all right. I'm ready. All right, Justin. Uh, Brian, Brian, this one's for you. Yes. I will read. Thank you, Brett. One minute she was walking down the street, and the next. She was in an alternate universe where dogs ruled and humans were their slaves. Oh, my God. I want to believe in humanity. I want to believe that creativity still reigns supreme. I want to believe that there's a place for novelists and writers in this universe. It's got to be a human. All right. You're going to say that that is written by a human. Brian, that answer is... Oh, incorrect. That was written by the AI. AI. On the bright side, that means at the push of a button, we can have equally good opening lines for any novel. This is Dolly all over. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's that's certainly where we're at. Welcome back, Justin. Well, I mean, the audio listeners didn't know. You know, that's fine. No, but you announced. We definitely you, you mentioned definitely that announced, fucking yeah. walked off stage. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Well, in the audio, he just stood there and peed. Yeah. So. <laughs> Oh, I God. pissed my pants with <laughs> dignity. <laughs> Just like that joke. Brett, we're going <laughs> to... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Brett, we're going to go to you on this one. Yes, you will. I mean, when you're God, you're God. I mean, uh, yeah. You know, yeah. You just got to, uh, 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 you know, turn over your, your king and <laughs> remove your butt plug. And <laughs> that's right. That's right. Say, uh, See, it's the only respectable that's, thing uh, to that's do. That's what happens in chess. There we go. <laughs> Brett, take it away. Sure. Oh, no, I cried as a hail of bullets brutally murdered my three wonderful children. <laughs> Oh, Brett. no. Brett, that's a you. That, this one's for you, actually. Now, that looks like something I would have written. <laughs> but I'm going to say that's AI right there. You're going to say that was the robot? Yeah, the robots. All right, Brett, your answer of robot is... Incorrect. Yeah. That was written by Xander McIver. I guess I need to call that guy up because I like the way he writes. It was a good one. Uh, oh, oh, no. With... Can we all just give our own no's real quick? Sure. Uh, Brian, uh, 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 you have three wonderful children. Uh, how would you yell, oh, no? Oh, no. I said as the Scam Nation episode went horribly, horribly awry and then intended to publish it exactly as it went. <laughs> uh, Bryce, give us your oh, no. Oh, as if, as if your three wonderful children were, were murdered. Uh, got, gotcha. Oh, oh no! My three wonderful children were murdered. Okay. All right, all right, Brett. Oh no, my three wonderful children were murdered. I, I am not comfortable with this bit at all. <laughs> the correct answer. Oh yes, what was the correct answer? Oh no, <laughs> my three wonderful children are murdered. <laughs> Um, turns out, sorry, the science computer said that was correct right. answer. All right, after everyone has gotten two rounds, the score, Brett. The score, the score is I got one point. That's right. Yeah, Brian, you got one point. That's, That's right. right. That's all I need. And Justin, you got one point. We them ones. So we're, we're all on winners ones. on the one. We them ones. We got a few more here. All right. Justin, we're going to go back to you. Yep. On this one. I'm going to nail this one. Uh, Brett, yeah. 100 hard. hard. Yes. Hard. Nail yeah. it. Nail that. All right. Take Boom. it away. Boom. Boom. Nail. Pow. Went my car's elite sound system as I blasted the 2009 <laughs> hot summer hit. <laughs> boom. Boom. Pow. <laughs> Justin. This is disqualified. This is actually good. <laughs> this is bullshit. That's actually a really funny fucking line. It's, it's a good bad line. <laughs> boom, boom, pow. Went my car's elite sound system as I blasted the 2009 summer hit. Boom, boom, pow. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll back your play on this one. It's a good line. But was it written by a, a human? Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, uh, human. Human, it's a human. I, I, I want to believe. Human. I want to believe. Human, Da Vinci. We want it to be Sistine human. Chapel cannot be made by an AI. Mm -hmm. Nope. Right. Sorry, couldn't. The Pope saw the AI Sistine Chapel. He'd say, "Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this looks like shit." Da Vinci would do so much better. That's what the Pope would say. That's what the Pope would say. 
Uh, uh, today's Pope? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Go ahead. You're the AI. I'm the Pope. Uh, Bring it in. My lord, I have completed the Sistine Chapel as you have requested. Uh, let me take a look at this. Oh, it's not oh, really wait, ready. Oh, wait. For... Hold on. No, hold on. Hold, hold on. on. It's really just a rough draft. Wait. No. Wait. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. I you got, got, you got, got to realize got, got, this got, is a rough comp. This is so it's... beautiful. This is so beautiful. Okay, I just, okay. I, I have only one thing to say it's, about it's it. It's only st the structure. I have only I'll one thing to the... say. Here we go. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, my lord. <laughs> So you like it? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, well, I'll murder you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, and My then the robot takes came over. Out yeah. Because I was playing chess. <laughs> <laughs> that was when the butt plug. Yeah, <laughs> I know. He has a lot of he has a lot of control. Yeah, except for his bladder, I guess. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, where were we on that one? Uh, oh, he, Justin he said that was it's human. a human. That's right. All right. Your answer of human oh, yeah. is <laughs> correct. Ah, from Madison Duarte. Uh, 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 all right, hit me, hit me, hit me. Bots do not. No, know no, no, no thinking. No thinking. All right, it's just, just instinct. I'm Ready, ready. Take it away. In a world. Where men are pigs and women are bitches, there's only one thing that matters: money. <laughs> uh, uh, that's that's a robot. That's a robot. You sure? Uh, I I uh, you sure you know they what? can write? You sure they can write this kind of truth? Let's say hypothetically, <laughs> I believed a human wrote it. Then hypothetically, uh, when my wife watches this episode, she might think that I was able to empathize with a human writing, it, which I cannot. Mm -hmm. So it must be a robot. Well, uh, we all politically agree with that statement. Yes. <laughs> all right. Brian, your answer of robot is correct. Yeah. Yeah. I'm politically ahead up. now. You were oh. ready to take the L on that, and you, it all lined up. Good. That's right. All right, Brett, this one's to you. Mm. And this is going to be the last one before the final round. All right. Uh, can I have you take it away? Okay. Why? Uh, this is why I hate your generation. See George after his failed proposal to the girl whose 18th birthday <laughs> was now ruined. <laughs> Hey, can you uh, just can one more time? Please, yeah, one more just time. Just let me let me so that. <laughs> read that. Read yeah. that as 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 I know, confidently. Now that I said George. This is why I hate your generation. <laughs> See George after his failed proposal to the girl whose 18th birthday was now ruined. Uh, the, the, stop! Like uh, on on the like these are bad lines. These are really I know. This funny. This is a great fucking, line. Like that's an entire premise of of a sketch. Yeah. Like. That's that's perfect. I'm an architect. You guys, uh, don't you guys read a lot? <laughs> I'm gonna say that that. Oh man, it's so good. How do you feel? This is I think I'm gonna say human. I'm gonna say human. No way. Why do you think a human? Uh, I I I love that. There's three. There's three parts to that. That the joke hits three times. Well, I mean, to me, it's it's context. Although the like men are pigs and women are bitches, there's only one thing: money. That also is a lot of. That's a one, two, context. three, yeah. Uh, so, like, if, if, if Brian wasn't right on that robot one, I would be totally with you that this is a a a, a human. human. But I don't know. All right. Well, Brett, you have said that this was written by a human. Yep. Lock and it in. Brett, your answer. Is correct. Oh, wow. That is George game me. You tried to game me. We're, we're, we're still tied, aren't we? That's Why? right. I hate your generation. What is, <laughs> two, two. what is the score, Brett, as we go into our final round? The score round? is triple two. Triple twos. That's right. Well, all on the twos. All righty. Can everybody grab their cell phone? For yeah. Me, You're going to text your answer for this one to me at my phone number, which you have. Okay. And I'm not which is? As, five uh, one two five 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 five
Wait, no, <laughs> just don't wait. <laughs> okay, keep going. <laughs> okay, go ahead. All right, Brett, uh, if you are ready. Yeah, well, I guess I am. All right, then all right, I'll take it. Okay. Oh, my God. The doors of my heart were as closed as those of the Capitol that morning of January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're going to text me, please, uh, whether you believe that is uh, a, a real or a fake or maybe a true or false or a human or a robot. Robot. As I get the answers in on the text messaging device of my choosing, let's a little bit of a of a. Well, we killed time. Who do you think was uh, responsible for January six? Uh, <laughs> Jesus. In one word, yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Okay, uh, Brett. Uh, I think that it was uh, one word. Remember, one word is the operative phrase here. Mitchell. We're looking Mitchell. 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 Yeah. Old, Mitchell. old Mitchell. Do we want to get people from the audience real quick? Do you want to get up on one mic word? And one word. Matt, one word. What do you got? Who's Who responsible, responsible for January, for January 6th? 6th? On Anybody the record, put? live yep, on the yep. internet. There we go. The Illuminati. Uh, that's two, two words. words. You're out. You're out. All, yeah. right. All right. All right. We're waiting on Fergie. <laughs> Fergie, we got. <laughs> Uh, Brad, I'm still waiting on your text message. Yeah. It's only one word. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. She was so 2000 and late. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Later than 2008 was, was 2020. Yeah. 2021 when January 6th happened. Where was Fergie on January 6th? And where was she? Was where she was in the Fergie? drive through to Taco Bell? Yeah. <laughs> it was a Wendy's. That's a line from one of her songs. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't get that. There's better there's there's better health benefits uh here at Wendy's. You're aligned with the therapy side? What? Better health benefits? <laughs> uh yeah, uh, no. I, I I don't like Yum Brands Incorporated. That's no. why I work at Wendy's. You like better health. Better health? Yeah. <laughs> better health. That's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna buy a sandwich or not? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got your answers in here. Two of you said robot. One of you said human. Mm. The doors of my heart were as closed as those on of the Capitol that morning on July. Uh, excuse, July. January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> July 6th, totally different, totally different news story. All right. That changes everything. Brett, I'm going to take your answer. Okay. And I'm going to drop it into the answer hole. Answer hole. What, what was your answer? Correct! That's a human! Dude. Dude. We, we pick computer. Yeah. We picked human. It's bullshit. <laughs> this guy's a dickhead. We don't need him. No, Hello, fellow AI sentient programming. We what will... have we learned today? We have learned that... Uh, you should have never said that joke. <laughs> <laughs> we learned that, uh, uh, Brett, what did we learn? <laughs> We've learned <laughs> we have learned that Justin has a weird thing with three fingers. We have learned that Brian wants the robots to win. True. And we have learned that Bryce... I don't know. I just what? is I, great. He's great. I, I'm always complimenting you, and I was trying to go the other way, and I just couldn't think of something. <laughs> he's just too sweet. Yep. Oh, it's been a I, great night. I only have. I, I don't have anything like, for that. Yep. I don't have anything. <laughs> My therapist would not like if I'm I responded great, to that Brian. really in either way. Uh, man, uh, dude. Uh, what what a, what a journey uh, uh, through the inception hole that begins at a Wendy's drive-thru yeah. and ends with the presidency all the way to here at the edge of Austin. It's, uh, it's been a great night. Shine on, you, Crazy Diamonds. Woo! Robots attack. Only a cyborg can win at chess. <laughs> a butt plugging cyborg. What if that dude? What if that dude? His butt plug was like Knight Rider. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> I'm detecting a fool's mate in four. I should have said that during the show. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>